I thought I might begin just to give you a bit of background about myself. Um, uh, I am a, an Anglican pastor in Melbourne, and I, I run a sort of a fairly diverse uh, English-speaking group of English-speaking congregations on two sites with a team of people. But we also have an Iranian congregation of about 100 members who've all become Christians in the last three or four years, so been quite intensively involved with them. Most of them are asylum seekers. They've come on boats over from Indonesia seeking asylum in Australia and finding Christ along the way. Um, before I became a pastor, I was an academic in linguistics and taught for some time at Melbourne University. My specialty was Southeast Asian linguistics, particularly, and um, some other theoretical interests. But I did a, a grammar of the language of Aceh in uh, North Sumatra in Indonesia. Aceh is considered perhaps the most Islamic group, ethnic group in Indonesia. And uh, I learned a fair bit about Islam, as you do in a folk sense, just talking to people, living with people. Um, but after 9-11, I made a decision to study Islam more intensively and systematically as a researcher. By then, I was already in, in Christian ministry. And um, so now I probably spend about half my time working on Islam-related issues, teaching around the world, training. And my interests are quite diverse. Um, I've recently completed a second doctorate, a doctorate of theology with the Australian College of Theology on the Quran, and actually on the Bible in the Quran. And, and Quranic theology. So the bulk of what I'm going to be speaking about today is about the, the theology of the Quran, and I'll have some reflections on its relationship to Christianity as well. Um, tomorrow will be quite a different program here in the church. And I, I thought to speak about the Quran because I know for people involved in a, in a seminary to get a sense of what the Quran's theology is would be ought to be really helpful. I hope. And. Um, I'm aware that people have lots and lots of questions, so please feel free to ask them, and I don't mind interruptions, and that's partly where a lot of the best learning happens, is in interaction. Um.